Jessica Ann Mitchell Iwuyor is an award-winning poet, writer, and activist. You read her, among other places, in the Huffington Post, and her blog is Our Legacy with an I dot com. Jessica? Just before Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated, he was organizing with sanitation workers as part of the newly launched Poor People's Campaign. He was known as the voice for change, for progress. Yet he feared that he had integrated his people into a burning house. After the passage of the Civil Rights Act of 1964 and Voting Rights Act of 1965, Dr. King recognized that America had a critical issue that must be dealt with in order to substantially uplift the masses. It was the issue of economic justice. In fact, he called it the most serious problem confronting the Negro and poor people generally. 50 years later, overt segregation is mostly a thing of the past. There are no whites only signs above water fountains and park benches. However, today, millions of Americans face poverty due to a lack of living wages and a historically flawed economic system that values corporations over people. Meanwhile, affordable housing is scarce. Segregation persists through redlining. Gentrification is displacing marginalized communities across the nation with racism intertwined in all of this. Dr. King's analysis of America's race and economic problems hauntingly remains true. It is now up to our current and future generations to ensure that grassroots and youth-led movements continue to be a guiding force for social justice and restorative change. We can fulfill his dream with persistence eventually.